Doug Lamarice from West Lafayette, and this is a public service announcement, and it's not really about Ohio State. It's about Purdue. Purdue is good. Uh, people were sending some tweets during Ohio State's loss on Saturday night that, like, Purdue is terrible, and they did open the season with a three-game losing streak, including a loss to Eastern Michigan. But they lost a close one to Northwestern early. They lost a shootout to Missouri, um, and they are now on a four-game winning streak. And I think Purdue legitimately has a chance to win the Big Ten West. There's a four-way tie in the Big Ten West right now. Iowa, Northwestern, Wisconsin, and Purdue all have one loss, and I don't think Wisconsin is beating that Purdue team that ran up and down this field against Ohio State on Saturday night. Um, Purdue has to play Iowa. They have to play Wisconsin. I think they can win both those games, and if one of those teams in the West runs the table, they're winning it all. There's a lot of games to be played. Uh, I don't know who the favorite is right now. I think Wisconsin's a bit of a fraud. I don't know that I believe in Iowa that much. But I think I believe in that Purdue offense at the very least. And then Purdue buckled down in the red zone when they needed to with some help from Ohio State and kept the Buckeyes out of the end zone. But that passing attack, Jeff Brom column plays, and Rondale Moore, the freshman 5'9 receiver, is unbelievable. I don't know if that's any comfort to Ohio State fans, but it's just a public service announcement to remind you, Purdue now 4-3 and three is not terrible, and I'll be curious to see how good this Purdue team is because they were certainly the better team on Saturday night. I'm Doug Lamarice from Ross-Aid Stadium. Follow our coverage all week at cleveland.com.